Okay, it's gone. Holy shit. Fucking... Okay. Let's go. Lentatsky's contract termination. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, the, yeah, I, I, will, I want to say, okay, this is starting out like a hostage video, Gator. Like... Right. This it, is... it seemed very weird. Yeah, true. That, um, you know, it's a black screen. They're talking very low. To speed it? It almost like, and like, it sounds like they're reading off of a statement, too. Yes. And I think they're only showing what they want them to show and only saying what they want them to say, which is why, like, if this was any other, if they were on screen or whatever, which they don't, they don't ever show their identities, right? Uh, right. You'd probably see them reading. And not only that, but it was time. Who's this gator person? Who's this gator person? One twenty-five, bro. Okay, Jesus. I'm just gonna uh, final final setting is one one twenty-five. Article writer. Okay, article writer. Oh, it's Simp Gator. Oh my God, that's Simp Gator. If it's this, if it's Simp Gator, that's like Salen's um, that's Salen's like mod, right? Or is this someone else? He's someone that know otaku culture. So it's not Simp Gator. It's not okay. Holy shit! Got fucking misled by chat there for a bit. Because if it was Simp Gator, his presence would be invaluable. Because that was like one of Salen's best people. That's one of Salen's bestest soldiers. Ah, thank you, Reeps, for the donation. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm gonna end up all. To drop the moment that uh, Doki Bird's stream went live. Yeah. By the way, someone posted a legal mindset. She interviewed Doki. So I would do it. I would do it. And if she wanted to do it, now I will say this. I would advise against it if she's planning to sue. If she's not planning to sue, then it, then it's fine. But or if mm -hmm. the legal matters are concluded. But the thing is, and I'm more responsible than other YouTubers are about this. Understand that your YouTube comments can be used against you. So right, just I, like I, Isaji's not... comments can be used against them. If she were to come on here and give information about the case that could hurt her, you know, it could be mm -hmm. totally used against her. You know, you, yeah, you, you should never wanna... talk publicly about legal stuff unless it's something that you know you can totally disclose and it, you, it's not going to come back to bite you. True. Yeah, I would not want to hurt her in any way, right? And that that you know that's obviously hurt her case or any client's case, right? I just don't. I, I mean, that's I know the danger of that, so I would not do that. Yep. Office. We have discussed with any color staff and our legal team about what we are able to say. However, due to how sensitive the situation is, please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we're able to share. Both we, the libraries, and the company mm. have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very seriously. Everything that will be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. Mm -mm. Before anything is discussed, there is something very important that we, Niji Sanji Ian, feels need to be made very clear. So, so here's the another thing too. You're making the VTubers give the company represent statement. the company. Do you understand yes. how fucked up that is? Yes. That's extraordinarily fucked up. You're putting a VTuber in a position that is not their position. This should be something done by the corporate counsel or done by the <laughs> PR person or done by the CEO himself, which will yep. be the CEO video. It's quite different, right? But, and this is on her channel. Yes, I know it's on Alira's channel. It's 1.1 million. You're making these, these people do it. It's fucked up to do this to your employees. It's wrong, right? This is wrong. Now, is it illegal? Well, not by itself, right? But is it is it wrong? Yes. And what they probably did, she said she volunteered to do it. Yeah. But let's be honest. It's voluntold, right? Oh, it's really? Voluntold. Ah, so right, he thinks, like, well, and one he, of them has to bite the bullet and be. He thinks that he he thinks uh, that if I'm getting what I think here, right? He thinks that Ilira is getting forced here, or like was told, or was encouraged to be here. Interesting. That is interesting. The one that puts it on their channel, Vox in particular, he is like the the uh, one of the biggest. Bolan told, in yeah, all yeah. Of so if he were to put it on his channel, his channel could conceivably take the biggest hit and would hurt the company the most. So it's kind of funny that they picked who they picked because it did, uh, comparatively speaking, the least amount of damage to the company as a whole, even though it did a lot of damage. You know, yep. we're talking from their perspective, their think line of thinking. Yeah, uh, yeah, they they definitely they definitely would have thought of that. They're like, okay, let's who's yes. Left. How come you don't know? Because I really am in the rat that um, I really am in the rat that Elira actually believed that she could actually push this. Like this was out of her own will. Like she wanted to do this, you know? Uh, so but I could be least, wrong, that's my so right. She's the smallest of all the three. I believe so, I have to double check. Okay. Yes. Do not condone harassment of any kind to any of the parties involved. 
after discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a Which they have to say, they're legally obligated to say because uh, a lot of these platforms like YouTube, they have policies against things like brigading, right, and harassment. Mm -hmm, and we right. all know what happens, right, Gator? We all know what happens when anytime there's a fight, even or even a, a perceived slight, the fans attack, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, so fans like, are vicious. You, yeah, they're, they're more vicious, right? Like, I would say, like, like Doki's, I would say it's kind of fair that, like, like, Doki probably wants blood less than the fans. Is that you think that's kind of fair to say? It's by far, fair. yeah. She, yeah, of everything course. Everything that she said, even even at the worst parts of this, has been, Hello. hey, look, like, don't I? You know, I'm not gonna say names specifically. I'm not gonna talk about anybody specifically. I don't want you guys to mess with anybody. Yep. And she said flat out, she's like, I went through all of this bullying and harassment. I don't want you guys to do it to other people. I want you guys to just, you know, stay positive and support, you know, the people that you like, and you know, just leave people alone. That was kind of her a summary mm -hmm. of her statement. Yeah, yeah, which. Once again, that's pretty neutral and pretty fair. Yes. Uh, let's go. Collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. Volunteer distribute. Additionally, Volunteer we've been told that there indeed. will also be a video releasing regarding the situation from Pazmi Sun directly a few hours following the stream. Which we will watch. But what we say mm -hmm. on this stream is our own words and our own feelings. <laughs> that were clearly checked by lawyers. Let's not let's stop the cap. Like, <laughs> there's no way that this is your that this is like, oh, we just are we're just winging it here. This yeah, I don't think that's what Elera means. I feel like a lot of people mis misunderstand, or maybe I'm just throwing her too much of a bone here. But I feel like what they did is because is they had a sentiment, they had a specific thought that they want to convey that they want to convey to fans, but they processed it through their lawyer first, so their lawyer can vet for their words. Obviously, that lawyer has fucked up. It the script that he made there is like absolutely fucked up. It actually incriminated them more than anything, but. I don't think Elira necessarily didn't wasn't claiming that this was forced or this wasn't unscripted. I, I think I think the sentiment, the thing that they would do wanted to say was is actually theirs. They are convinced of the things they are what they do want to say. It's just processed by a lawyer, talked through by a lawyer. That's what I think. So I feel like a lot of people must understand this part. But again, I could just be wrong and throwing too much of a bone. Zero percent chance that they were just winging this statement. You know, for people that play characters, no way. they're really bad at hiding it in their voice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's continue here. Pretty sure the lawyer would tell them to shut up before they do this stream. I mean, we don't know. We've seen that Nijisanji's lawyers are kind of bad. Or their their PR, P I don't know if it was, you know, vetted by their PR and their lawyers. I mean, they kind of they kind of say that it does. But if it's not, then they have like pretty stupid lawyers, I would agree, yeah. I would like to first apologize if my silence on the matter has caused any worry. Over the past month, staff received documents from Salen's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. These documents in question included personal information of some rivals, lawyer. and when it was sent to us, we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. Some of the information poses a risk to our personal safety and puts some of us at risk of doxing. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, stop. Stop there. Okay. So personal safety and doxing. Okay. So what, like to me, factually, so the information they're talking is information that was exchanged between lawyers and to the company. Mm. There was no threat of doxing there. There yeah. was no exactly. threat of public exposure, right? There was no, as far as we know, right? I have not seen any proof of that at all whatsoever. Exactly. Right. Um, at all. If anything, uh, I think probably Selen has more reason to be worried about doxing than the Niji Sanji uh, livers, like these three uh, Niji Sanji livers, because they clearly don't give a shit about personal information. They're just passing it around and not really caring who they get, who they give it to, right? It was intended right. to be, in, in, at least Selen intended it to be between the lawyers. They mm. thought that it was between the lawyers. It clearly wasn't, right? And we talked about in the beginning of the stream. I know there's 3,000 people almost on right now because there's 2,841 here on YouTube and there is uh, 126 on uh, on Rumble. So we've got 3,000 people watching. So let me say this again. Japanese do not have the same confidentiality ethical expectations as lawyers yes. or just in general, right? So they definitely shared this out company-wide, yeah. right? Even though this was something that was supposed to be between the two. And I know there might've been a signed agreement, but that signed agreement, probably didn't mean the same thing to both of the lawyers, right? And what they might have done is, and this is what they might have done, they might have said, oh, we can't share all of the information, but we create a summary or we create another version, mm -hmm. right? And lawyers often do that. So maybe they took the information that was shared and they created another version and they shared that with everybody. Oh, that's an interesting, okay. That might be an interesting like spin on things. 
like the actual document itself was not exposed to the members but rather the members summarized the private document and had that document be sent to everybody else company wide hmm that's an interesting oh that's an interesting like like uh, like a spin on it okay i actually didn't think of, think of that i didn't think of that that might be why niji sanji thought that what they did was not like um uh, that might be why Niji Sanji thought that what they did was not legal or it didn't violate any privacy concerns. Isn't that what the Gurat said though? Yeah, but it's just that hearing it from a lawyer gives it a little bit more, you know, punch. I did believe that part of the Gurat, don't get me wrong. It's just that it's interesting that he thought of it too. So that could be the thing. That's all, that, now that's speculation. That's the, yeah, the Vox thing is the interesting part. He said that he thoroughly reviewed the document. So that might not be it. Maybe, maybe, yeah, hold on. He's speculating, but that's another very feasible way to break that down. Yeah. Let's continue. Once this decides to load with my Thai internet Notably, problems. one section of this document alludes to where Millie Anna and I live. However, there are also harmful claims Solan made in the document. Pause it right there real quick. Personal information. Because yeah, yeah. she just... She actually, you know, before she was talking about everything kind of she, in a general sense, like some people were included in this document uh -huh. know, regarding all this harassment and bullying accusations. Mm -hmm. And then she says, oh, yeah, me and this other girl, Millie, are named specifically. So she's already she's already fucked up. So it, 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 does that imply? <laughs> so I guess the implication there, correct me if I'm wrong, is that she might be one of the ones that was like documented as a harasser. Right. Yeah, that's that's kind of the, the implication. The speculation is that she's one of the, the chief parties in this entire thing. And that's why Which, it was on her channel. Right. Yep. So like, obviously, that's why she she's taking the hit right now. It's yeah, because she's culprit, probably number one, she's most suspect, right, for somebody who right. and she has the smallest, tribute. the smallest channel of them of the three in the stream too. Right, right. So it makes the most sense. Um, let's continue. Information that we believe are simply untrue. Mm -hmm. I felt threatened and scared of speaking out about the situation because of the risk that it could pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. I'm very sad that this is how everything had to turn out, and I deeply apologize to all the fans who have been affected through this time. When Solene had posted the tweet about her cover being privated, several EN members reached out to Solene, and we expressed our concerns. We were genuinely concerned, and we wanted to understand the situation, as we were all in the dark about it. Once she notified all of us regarding her hospitalization, mm -hmm. we immediately reached out to her, each other, and mm -hmm. her manager to confirm her safety. Her manager also immediately reached out to her and her emergency contact and kept us updated throughout the entire situation as well. It's been a very tough time for a lot of us. And she sounds I'm like honestly, she's forcing it. I'm not sure what else to say, but thank you again for everything, for waiting, and thank you. Okay, so her statement, just a summary there, really didn't say much except for. That's my you know, Discord outing chat. her there as we as we said, kind of like outing her there as, as a as a suspect, um, and also just understanding that look, yeah, you can be concerned, but what did you actually do for her, right? How did you help her? How did you back her up? I mean, that's there, there's not there's not much meat on that bone. A lot of general statements with not a lot of specifics. So let's go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks, Alira. Um, no, no right. yeah, it's um it's it's it has been a really really tough time, and uh, and it's had an effect. I've I've noticed it's had an effect on on, on everyone. It's had an effect on me too. So uh, I'm joining this stream to talk about my experiences with Selene uh, to lend okay. some Okay, his take on Vox is interesting. Okay. The context of this a little bit better. Uh, funny, I mean. Uh, I know that a lot of you watching are going to have your own views and opinions on the situation. And so all I would like to ask is that you can take the information that I'm going to present at face value if you can. That's so the most... quick, uh, yeah. Gator, this is the big in chat can help me out here. Yeah, that was like one of the more bullshit fucking parts of the state of Vox's statement too. If you could take my what if you could take it my my what i say here at face value shut the fuck up and uh, no why would we do that you know why would you do that is this the biggest vtuber thank like, you lord commander not not that this would happen but why is the idea of elira being served an extradition letter just so ridiculously funny hmm i don't know i don't think it's funny okay. i think that's would okay, be sad this is the most popular guy. thank you thank you for educating me <laughs> so uh this recent situation uh, began when Selene claimed on Twitter that her most recent song cover had been made private by staff, and she gave no context or reasoning as to why. Yes. In actuality, 
she had been asked to send the oh. content of her music video to her manager oh. in advance. Hold on, I'm pausing this. We got evidence here. All right, let's go. We've let's got, see what we got here. Yeah, we got evidence here. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Uh, okay. Um, here's when she sent it: eight three three two six twelve uh, December twenty first, uh, yes. twenty fourth, uh, twenty twenty three. She sent the cover video check there. Um, 25th so this is a day later yeah yes. day later. literally 36 yeah, later the, the 36 evening. hours later yes they respond sorry for the late reply they acknowledge their finally since this video included x livers it will cause more time to get me confirmation the audio is okay okay uh three i don't see much here they got a lot blacked out so why is this released before i get confirmation selling for the video set to private until i got confirmation there's also a chance that you might need to adjust it before setting to the public uh, also, before you post anything, explain Lawyers about it. get excited when song. there's evidence. Uh, and then six, she posted this saying, I apologize to management, but has private this song. Please feel free to re-upload. Since a lot of money and effort was done by so many Dragoons, yep. at least had this happen on Christmas, but somehow you guys will still be able to listen to it in some way. Yes. So, interesting here. Uh, yeah, so it seems like this fits the narrative they were dragging their, dragging their feet on this, right? Right. Mm -hmm. but, but to their narrative, they're saying that, oh, well, you know, look, look, you know, we, we didn't have enough time to go through all of this stuff. And, you know, she was being unreasonable. That, that's kind of their, their take here. They're, they're trying to say that, well, she could have waited and we would have, we would have approved it, but we had to get through all of this stuff first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would, we would have done it, but right. But right. it seems like a, a CYA one. Right. And mm -hmm. once again, the response could have been like, Hey, sell it. It's got X livers, remove it. And then you can post it. Right. Just, just, right. Just answer that. Like, like, just give that answer. Period. And chat's wondering about the uh, the timeline. This is they're trying to make it seem like all of this was just like a like a spur of the moment thing. But like we talked about earlier, this video had been a project for a year. A year. So and it's they not knew, like they, they, knew, they it. knew about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the thing. Like, and that's where the black company side comes out, right? Once again, I'm saying like trying to litigate solely over this, like not approving it fast enough, that's that's gonna be a hard case for selling to make in Japan, right? To be mm -hmm. honest with you guys. But it goes strongly towards this being an abusive pattern of behavior towards selling, right? Yes. Where they could have handled this better. They could have addressed this in a better way, right? Than, than dealing with it this way. It's a shitty way. It's a shitty company move. Very shitty company. Mm. And they, it's now been aired. Here's the other thing too. It's been aired for everybody to see, right? They, they're, they've, they put out their dirty laundry, these DMs, right? And these DMs can be used against them, right? This can be evidence as well. So evidence? stupid move uh, oh. on their part. What could it? What could this be evidence for? Like evidence to incriminate either party or the other party? I mean, well, then again, I'm not a lawyer, so I wouldn't know. State, so it could be checked for content, etc., which is something that all livers agree to do. Her manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it, and as a result, it needed to be made private. It was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. Yes, it's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions, including her Fall Guys tournament in August of 2023, uh, a voice pack in May of the same year, and an outfit contest also in May. Do you guys do you know any about uh, any of those other events, Gator? Like in some some of the facts about those other events, or whether what he's saying is true or bullshit? Yeah. Um. So she held a contest because she wanted fans to design her her new outfit. Sure. Um, and Niji Sanji's management didn't want to like actually pay anybody that did any of that those designs so ultimately she ended up having to pay them herself yes and you know she she had tried to hold an event with multiple other vtuber companies where it'd be like a little competition and at the last minute niji sanji pulled the rug out from that too so it builds up a pattern of behavior where selen tries to do something that you know she's trying to promote herself get herself out there she's trying to you know uh promote her fans make mm. her fans feel like they're involved and at every step of the way niji sanji management seems to step in and pull the rug out from under her and the, the one thing I, I have heard is like, the, as a, as a folks, the commentators, me listening to a lot of commentators, the one thing I've heard maybe is a fair criticism of selling, or I don't know if even this is a criticism or if it's just a comment on her personality type. And I think she's even said this herself in her videos is she's not like the typical VTuber. She's not like the typical corpo worker. She seems to be more like independent minded. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's just yeah, her personality. It goes back a lot towards, you know, her, her personality, her time mm -hmm. playing, playing Doki bird, you know, she's always, um... she's always thinking about like. What can she do to like make things better to grow her? The thing that caught my eye the most was on number three on those messages. That doesn't sound like a professional message. That's very accusatory wording, like a parent scolding their child that probably just went through the surface. That that's probably just the surface of what Salent went through. 
I agree. Just the tip of the iceberg. Yep. Thank you, Ele Semi Electric. To put more Electric. content out there. She's very content right. grind mind oriented, and she's just not a corpo. She's not a corpo employee. And look, I, I identify right. with that because look, I'm the same way, and I know that about myself. I cannot work in a hierarchy I where I have these incompetent fucks above me. And yeah, we got to curse right now. Sorry guys. <laughs> Smash the like button. We're almost at two hours. I can really curse when we get to two hours. But like, I can't deal with incompetent people who are above me telling me what to do and stopping me from doing things. So I understand where she's coming from, right? I definitely understand that. Um, and, and I would have in, in her shoes, I would have worked to get out of this situation to, I guess, graduate like ASAP, because that would allow you to kind of just fly and do your own thing. Right. That's not what's ended. Right. But, and of course, you, you know, and it's also like, like a lot of the VTubers, you know, they're, they're scared to leave the company because they don't feel like they'll land on their feet. Yeah. So I think Ducky Bird was very, you know, it's Lucky. kind of fortuitous for her that things did turn out the way they did. You know, I wish that things had been better, but you know, she was able to land on her feet and then some, you know, she's very rapidly going to reach the subs that she had on her previous channel, blowing past, uh, you know, Alira and some of, some of the other people. Oh yeah. So. Doki's doing just fine on her channel. And I think she's going to, she's going to soar on the, on her own channel, right. On her own mm. uh, thing where she controls it. She gets to control what she does. Right. And I think she'll be much happier, which is ultimately the best thing. Right. I mean, right. that's ultimately that's, what we want for everybody. That's what we all want. A citizen of Canada is also subject to the same law and they're a lot easier to reach legally than a Japanese company would be in Canada. Hmm. Rut row. Now, of course, by the way, you can reach a Japanese company through Canadian courts. I mean, there's ways right. to serve Japanese companies. I have done that. It's possible, right? I see. And also they have assets in other companies. They okay. want to do business in those, in those countries, right? They don't want to get banned from Canada, right? So right. like, obviously, Niji Sanji is not trying to, you know, is, is not trying to get sued in any jurisdiction. But that said, Niji Sanji does not want to get uh, Nijisanji does not want their presence off in Canada too. That's why they got out there and is trying to find a manager that is familiar, that is like overqualified and knows the fucking law for $8 an hour. That should tell you enough about how cheap Nijisanji is, chat. That should tell you about how much they're used to being like this. With that in mind, right? You have to feel bad about the managers too. Like the managers in Niji Sanji are probably over, a, 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 like, uh, what's the term there? Like not paid at all. Like they're so paid, like they're be paid beyond the minimum wage. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. So if we can have actual, if we can actually have confirmation from that, that, um, that Niji Sanji managers don't actually get paid enough for what they're doing and for what they're worth we could actually have a case where niji sanji is a black company because that would mean that they pay their their workers below the normal wage and and they do they ask for responsibilities and obligations that is far beyond their pay grade so um just a little you know Thought out the there. individual is at a way higher risk. Um, Al Mori says, Alira has already fled to Japan. Well, once again, uh, we talked about the visa situation. That's tenuous as fuck because then, you know, you're, right. you're kind of reliant on these people entirely. And when, if they cut you loose, like you're screwed on your visa. So you get like, like two weeks to that. find a new job. And if you don't, mm, you're right. deported. You're deported, right? You get people don't understand how the, the visa game works, and that's that's a big issue uh, over here in Asia. And that's also like a sort of Damocles they use over you. So, you know, mm. I don't envy her for that, right? Like, Look, there's pros and cons. I'm very honest about it. And I have another channel, Go East Gentlemen, for folks who want to move to uh, Asia. I talk about this all the time. I'm very realistic about the pros and cons of living in Asia. It is not for everybody. It's not easy. And there's a lot of trouble for foreigners. It's not so simple. So just fleeing to Japan is not necessarily a solution to all of our life's problems. In America, the legalese that they put out, well, you know, we need to talk with our lawyers about this, or this is under consideration, or this is a, this is a sensitive topic, right? We'll get hmm. back to you. That's what we do constantly in America. That's corpo speak in America. Look at this from, this is nuts. This is insane from an, from a Western standpoint to look at this. Of course, once again, Niji Sanji Japanese company. Mm -hmm. Zion was right the whole time. I love people in the chat. They're like, Zig Zion. I love it. The Gundam reference. Oh, guys. You know, you know the way oh, he's a weave. Legal mindset is a weave. I'm surprised he knows the reference. Okay. Because nobody, when a lot of people in the chat that I've actually seen, especially from a lot of Niji sisters, is that when we say Shig Zion, a lot of people are actually saying like, oh my God, you fucking Nazis. It's like, what? No, you idiots. It's a fucking Gundam reference. And yeah, fucking obviously the Axis uh, group in Zayon is obviously a reference to Zion. Uh, not Zion, to Nazis. But they're not. Uh, it's not a, like a fucking Nazi reference. Like a direct Nazi reference. You fucking uncultured tourists. Okay, let's go. Gundam. 
six iron. I'm like, oh yes, you guys know the way to my heart. Even though it's probably just the statement, right? The, the, the thing, but it's so good. It's so good. Uh, I love, I love weaves. Um, we're going right, to drop continue. a space colony on Eiji Sanji. Oh yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. In these situations, Selen would be working on one of the projects I mentioned. She'd be given clear communication about confirming certain aspects with staff as all other libraries receive and comply with. And each time she would refuse to cooperate. And when staff would react appropriately, she would make public statements that would hurt any color's reputation. And as these situations kept occurring, myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. Hmm. We felt that these statements harmed all of us as a group. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> so it's this context that I hope explains why myself and some other livers decided to approach Selene and ask about her handling of the latest situation, mm -hmm. which was her cover being made private. So some livers, myself included, asked Selene why she tweeted about the cover in the way that she did, uh, expressing that we felt it was unnecessary and harmful. According to Selene's lawyer, it's this event that they claim to be a build-up of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a build-up of past experiences that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problems she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Well, then this is a pretty fucking big betrayal. Right? I mean, like, yeah, for real. Just, just saying, like, look, you're not, you're not, um, you're not winning any points by saying you were her friend and then coming out here and just like jabbing her. You know, it's just like I it, was it, her friend, but fuck her. <laughs> yeah, but 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 fuck, but fuck this girl. Like, you know, come on. That that is showing like it's it's What's showing happened? your snakeness, right? You what know, the fuck? by okay. trying to appeal to that. Anyways. That's a non-legal point, guys. Having thoroughly reviewed the document sent to any color by her lawyer, and based on what I know... Whoa, 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 yeah, see, there, whoa, is, whoa, there whoa. it is. Whoa. Yeah. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents yeah. being sent to any color yeah. from her lawyer. Hold on. Let me yeah. play this one more time. I'm rewinding on this. I have a chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to any color by her lawyer, and yep. based... None your business! Yeah. yeah, see, there's where this is the biggest thing where I want to know. So I want to see now I know that Doki said she had a signed agreement, a signed confidentiality agreement. Mm. I want to see I wish I could see that agreement. I know I can't. And I know, I'm, you know, we're not, you know, well, I mean, I could if she paid me. But, you know, once again, I'm not uh, I'm not her attorney. I'm not privy to it. Right. But yes, that said, um, that confidentiality agreement. How did how they, they vet this statement? That's the per perplexing part. Sales Nako, Sales Nako. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her same name. I'm sorry. It's either the Nijisanji PR team and lawyers are so incredibly dumb or they're lying that they actually had the lawyer go through with this shit. Which I'm more privy to the former option. Worded it is going to be all the matter of whether she Eight dollar lawyers. <laughs> there may have been a breach of that confidentiality agreement that, and whether it's framed as an NDA or whatever else, right? Um, that was between her lawyer and any color. Uh, because they should not have been seeing that at all. Now, if I want to give Vox the, the the benefit of the doubt here, maybe it was a summary of the stuff that was sent over. Yeah, exactly. What if that's the case? Then might not have been covered by the agreement because mm -hmm. a lawyer who's not careful and lawyers are tricky bastards. I tell you this as a lawyer, right? Yes. We will try to find the gray area and the way around shit all the time. And one way you can do that is you create a like client summary. So you might like summarize something for your client, but like redact or. Um, generalized information that can't be disclosed, mm. right? That's possible, but I'm not sure that's what he said, right? He said I mean, he thoroughly, thoroughly reviewed. reviewed. And here's the thing: yeah. he didn't say that yeah. he reviewed a document prepared, you know, based on the document or a derivative yeah. of the document. He said, "Yeah, we." He said, "I thoroughly, thoroughly reviewed. reviewed the document sent by Salen's lawyer." Yeah. So, so I think you know you don't go with the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I think the burden is on Niji Sanji to produce. Like proof that they didn't violate a confidentiality agreement that was signed between Nishi right. Sanji and them. I think it shifts the burden. This statement made alone, Vox's statement alone here, exactly may have shifted the burden to Nishi Sanji. Right? That's why. That's what we're saying. It's why everybody is saying that Vox actually just fucked them over with this, right? Because mm -hmm. I think there may have been that may have not been there. But if there's this agreement that hey, we weren't going to do this, there's a signed agreement. Uh, I mean, what Vox said would have violated that because it wasn't to be shared with other livers. It was not to be shared with the livers. And in fact, we have other statements that nothing was shared with the livers. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. I think I had it here real quick. Um, is it? Oh, wait, hold on. I think it's this one right here. Let me share this one right here. Okay, this is a different tab. And this is a different statement that was brought up. Um, this is by Niji Sanji Ian official, right? Yes. 
Right. In a stream earlier by our livers, it was mentioned that parts of information received from Selen and her lawyer were shared to them by any color. Yes. As mentioned in the stream and in the notice published Stupid. by any color, Selen and her lawyer claimed the livers affiliated with any color ink were involved and that they were to hold, will hold them legally responsible. They mentioned the possibility that they will hold livers affiliated legally responsible. Well, I mean, they have the ability to do that. So, yeah, okay. In order to check the validity of her claim, any color shared only necessary parts of the information sent by our lawyer with our livers line of internal investigation. That's not what Vox just said. Right, and this is this is the problem that they had. That he That's said, "Yeah, I thoroughly, thoroughly, I, I reviewed thoroughly. the document sent by Salen's lawyer." He didn't say yeah. necessary parts. He didn't say only yeah. the part that was relevant. It's a contradiction, basically. Yeah, what Vox said and what um, what the official termination notice says basically basically contradicts each other. Regarding the eight dollars, thank you, Nicolas. So. He says, even in good corpos, most lawyers can be low competence because their work is rote. Less useful once things get litigious. Well, I guess that's true, yeah. Just someone that's generally knowledgeable of the law, but when, when shit hits the fan, they're like, they don't know, they, they, it's out of their field already. Maybe Vox is part of legal, the same way Elira is part of the management team law. Possibly, Shiny SB. At this point, everything is like possible. Went to me, he said, thoroughly mm -hmm. reviewed the document. This is one, by the way, yes, everyone's saying it and I agree. This was 5,000% written by a lawyer. I know lawyers speak when I see it. This is a fucking lawyer speak, okay? Guys, okay. this is like massive lawyer speak here. This is 100% written by a lawyer. Look at this. To begin with, any color has not made any confidential violations. The lady doth protest too much, right? <laughs> Why would you ever say that? By the way, the human mind like doesn't really accept not very well. So like, you kind of read that as any color has made any has made violations. You know, I know there's a not in there, but like uh, this is just a, a writing thing. Don't hmm. put not in things. You know, put like, you know, instead instead you would say any color has protected confidentiality instead of has not. This is definitely it's better to write it in a positive way than a negative way. I see. Yes. I see. That yes. will be useful. Objection. <laughs> Thank you. you know, however, Picardo. regarding the specific information documents which selling lawyers requested that we do not share with our livers, with utmost consideration of uh, this request, any color has not shared any information. What I don't, what I'm afraid of here is they're using the word request. They're not using the word agreement. That's what I'm scared of because I know Selin says she has a agreement, uh, has agreement. a signed agreement, but they're saying it's a request. So this oh. makes me think that they're using using the Japanese confidentiality oh. standard, which is, this is a polite act. Yeah, oh my God, that might change things. That might be like a massive miscommunication problem there. Yeah, 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 I think he, I, I think I know what he's, where he's trying to go with this. It's not a requirement. Yes. This is what I'm afraid of for selling. Yeah, is that, that would be the concern. Took it as a, as a suggestion, not as a requirement. Yeah, and right? it's really and hard to know which one without being able to actually pick up the document and read it, which, which way it went. And look at this. This is why they made the livers do this. Oh my God. In addition, our livers are not held to any confidentiality obligation yeah, regarding that, the information. That shared other from statement. Income. Thus, there are no. <laughs> yeah, this statement in liver, uh, this part, our livers are not held to any confidentiality obligation. I think it's because of that. I think Japan laws with the whole agreement versus request thing fucked them over. But then. Oh my God, that might actually complicate things. Okay. Legal issues regarding the information shared to the public in the stream by our livers. That's bullshit. You have vicarious liability for your employers. Now, mm -hmm. employees, right? That, now, I know this is technical. It is a technical way around confidentiality. to give Oh shit, it's the comms post thing? No yeah, the comms post thing, thing might faith, be real. Contractual bad faith. If that I, might be it. You, Gator, if I have a contractual agreement with, let's say, if I have a contractual agreement with Nick Ricada, not to give up his secrets. You know right? who that, wait, actually, you know what, chat? You know what the most fucked up thing about the comrade thing is? Because if the, okay, so basically the summary of the comrade is that basically there's an entire miscommunication going on from the PR team and what was delivered to the livers, right? So the most fucked up thing there is that if the livers realize that they accidentally fucked up and said damning things about Selen, because their PR team was fucked up, they were being misled, which was originally my, my rat too, then that means that, one, they accidentally doomed, fucked themselves over in the public sphere, and two, they were kicking down Selene while she was in a dark spot. Like, they were actually bullying. If they didn't think that they were bullying Selene before, they definitely should be thinking that they bullied Selene now. Not necessarily because of their fault, but because the fault of the lawyers or the PR guys that told them to say their shit. That's the most fucked up part. 
So it's either there. So, so a lot of things are probably running through their mind right now. The guilt of actually fucking up Salen, even when they didn't want to. The 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 risk of not the risk, but the possibility that they were the reasons why this this situation, which could have been mitigated a little bit before they made that statement, could have been salvaged a little bit. And what? And three, they're 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 responsible for fucking over themselves. That might, that's the most fucked up implications of the comrade thing, if it's real. Oh my god. Feel guilt. Hey, come on, chat. Uh, those uh, people can still feel guilty. Again, if they were misled, they can still feel guilty. And if they were misled. I, uh, big if there. Big if. Give the information to you to expose. I'm still liable because you're acting as my agent. You're my sock puppet. Right? It's clear agency theory. I'm going to release so, that family recipe, Rakane, and you can't stop me. <laughs> there's the thing is like it's clear it's night it's it's night and day so mm. after legal after rigorous legal check any color de hereby declares that it has not made any confidentiality violations while checking the validity of the claims made by selling their lawyer with its affiliated livers what it does not say here what is not said is that they did not share it with our with the management and the other people in the company so this was definitely shared beyond the lawyers is what that yeah. legal letter is saying to me what that yes. statement says to me is they definitely shared that to management they shared that to people outside of the pure legal department this is this was not been held as a legal document yes at all whatsoever um, and, you, and then there's the, the little bit about the livers, you know, like, oh, well, they're not under the confidentiality agreement, so they can just kind of say whatever they want to. Bullshit. But there's also a problem with that, too, because, you know, as we're going to get to in the speculation aspect of this, there is speculation that they've been acting as liaisons between the English side and the Japanese side. And yes, that would kind of de facto give them managerial powers. And, you know, thank you, Dridge and VT. Legal Mindset says he's willing to work with you. Just reach out to him. Yes, I actually contacted when we began, we began stream, and he replied. So. I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna be as a guest on his most recent stream, but I'm hoping that we can set something up in the future. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, he's very uh, uh, easy to talk and easy to work with. From the brief conversation that I had with him just earlier, decide what court say. Yeah, actually, they should be considered part of management. That could make mm -hmm. things even trickier for Nishi-san. Yeah, exactly. If they're in a super, if they're now turned into supervisors of of uh, selling, right? They're selling now. They're the ones that were saying no. They're the ones that make decisions, and they were doing it in bad faith. Mm. Then your hostile work environment claims become much stronger, right? That really strengthens your hostile work environment claims. Yeah, but I'm going to get, I'm going to continue with this because I want to get through this uh, and we've got a lot more to get through here today, but I do appreciate Does all Does that guys mean that also... Doki has the upper hand with this? Yes. Yes. But with the whole translation from JP to Canada loss, it could be a little bit more complicated, but from what we have right now, then uh, kind of, yes. So all always have in fact on all the channels. You guys are freaking awesome today. And obviously this is going to be a topic that I probably have to follow up with. And what I know personally and have been told by Selene as her friend, myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. I feel very confident in we saying no, wait, ourselves no way. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I, I hate that statement, by the way. I fucking hate that statement from Vox. I and other livers communicated with Selene about this incident was fair and reasonable especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. In my opinion, I do not think that it was a form of harassment. Harassment is not an opinion. It's a legal oh. analysis. Oh, oh, okay. There are okay. things that legally constitute harassment. Oh. Like you're, <laughs> as a friend, I don't think, I don't feel this is harassment. Go fuck yourself. It's oh. a legal analysis. Oh, is, oh, oh, I fuck it. He's going in. Okay. It, is it harassment? Right? Were you exerting undue control? Were you <laughs> making her feel uncomfortable based on or, uh, her any of her characteristics? Right, and that's another thing: her protected characteristics. Right, so uh, because she is a non-Japanese speaker, were you oh trying my God. to make any comments about that? Right, or push her? Because I believe her background she's Hong Kong Chinese. Right, so does not know Japanese. I think one of her goals was to learn Japanese. Right, right. Oh, so. Yeah, were you saying like were you making her uncomfortable for that? Were you holding that over her? Were you uh, uh, you know any undue management pressure? Right, that could be a hostile work environment. It could be a workplace labor claim. Oh right. my god, he he he! I just witnessed a fucking murder. Holy, he went in on Vox's asshole. Holy shit! It could be right. So this is the difference between somebody who is not a lawyer and speaking, and someone who's just speaking out of his ass. So that was a yeah bad statement there. Also, in base, the base, base. Thank you Lord, for the super chat. It said that Solen had secretly recorded me in a private voice call without my knowledge or consent. Now, I have absolutely zero memory of what I might have specifically said in that recording, but we know it was on the topic of the tweet that I had made around the time of AR Live's cancellation last year. 
Yeah. From what I know, based on this document, uh, Selene had wanted to use this as proof of staff showing favoritism for some members over others, as at the time, I wasn't reprimanded by staff having made that tweet. Oh, just because you weren't reprimanded doesn't mean something you did wasn't wrong. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. I followed this issue up with my managers, and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the ah, time. Ah, this one, this one. He tried to fucking implicate that, imply that there was no favoritism. Oh, also, yeah, one thing, one thing on the recording part. Canada is single party consent. Thank you for mentioning that uh, in the chat, but this is a very good important one. Uh, it is a single party, oh, a single party consent, so she could record it. Now, that said, on a moral point, I understand there's an argument of, look, morally, should you tell everybody when you're recording? Yes, but also if someone's trying to snake you, if someone's trying to fuck you, if this is the only time they've managed to talk to you is to get on the phone, they won't talk to you by email, they won't talk to you any other way, the only uh, frame of reference, yeah, in reality, in reality, people are going to record you regardless, yep. right? right? And you have to imagine that, um, you know, th this guy is friends with all of the clique that's bullying her, so, hmm. you know, he's going to have a, a private conversation with you. Of course you're going to want to keep that, you know? You never know when mm -hmm. that might come in handy, like, like right. now. Right, exactly, exactly. If you're being harassed, you're going to do it, right? So that moral stuff, like, I mean, I get like that argument kind of goes away, right? It's a sliding scale. It's not black or white. Um, yes, but yes. obviously, you have to be mindful of laws. But in, in Canada, where she lives, she... Morally didn't... questionable, personally, I would do it. Yeah, me too. Me too. If I thought I was being harassed, I'd probably do the Wrong. same. So that's totally okay on her part, right? Vox can be as salty as he wants to be, right? It doesn't now... Thing. Does that change with Vox being based in the UK? Well, not unless, I mean, if Vox wants to try to drag her into the UK, but she doesn't live in the UK, it's going to be kind of difficult to do, right? Those cross-border claims like that, that's eh, not going to work like that. Mm. It's not going to work. However, I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally Thank you, Ray, for get hololive, Sanji. This man is my new Oshi. We should Oshi. avoid tweeting something. Thank you. Uh, we apologize, delete it, and move on. The real issue here, however, is that someone I trusted and considered a friend not only recorded me in secret, but also that these recordings were held without my knowledge for almost an entire year. Sorry, I just confirmed it. UK is single party consent. Yeah, so everybody in the chat, I see you saying it. UK, England, Scotland, Wales are all single party consent. So there you go. Boom. Okay. The fact that this was held throughout our friendship is really upsetting to me. Until now, I had always looked up to Selene as my senpai, and I felt really lucky to be her friend. Having to talk about this now and see... I, I hate how he keeps leaning on that. It's like, just just move the fuck on, you know? Seeing how this has played out is... Yeah, it's an appeal to emotion. It's to, it's to get the people on his side to, like, emphasize on the fact that Salen was my friend and the fact that she would do this to me. Like, you know, he wanted to... He wanted that appeal. He wanted that emotional reaction from the Ninja sisters. Selena told me privately about her disagreements with staff and her managers, and I had done my best to support her and to help her make what I thought were the right choices even when she talked about wanting to graduate. For context, leaving Niji Sanji is always an option for Livers. If she had wanted to graduate beforehand, she was given very many chances to do so amicably. And on multiple occasions, Selene had told us she- You can tell when Vox is lying by when his mouth is moving. Mm. Core Vox. Oh, Core 7, thanks for your super chat. Planned on graduating, but would then go back on this shortly after. Mm -hmm. For example, she told me that she would be graduating on the day we hosted the Prism Cup, but as you know, this didn't happen. Hmm. She also, after being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned, nothing else. Because I trusted her so much, and I listened to her narrative of half or untruths about her relationship with any color, this caused me so, so so once again he's saying that they're untrue so anytime you're like trying to refute you're having like factual refutations right so that's where you're getting into potential defamation cases when you're getting to factual disputes right so you've got all these claims about behavior where it seems like look that termination notice where they accused uh Selen of many things right if those are false then you've got potential defamation right mm. because they've gone and they've damaged her image her brand right by saying that she does all these things right because that will hurt her ability to work with another company right so right. if she Right. And, and by the way, Gator, everybody keeps asking, you're not muted, right? Your, your model just kind of like moves its mouth a little bit, like tiny, tiny amount. Yeah, it, it, it's my, uh, my things look very sensitive. Like I said, it's, it's no, duplicate, so it's just not in the, why. Uh, Thanks for the super chat. It doesn't track the mouth like No 100%. favoritism here, says the top VTuber. Yep. You're percent perfectly. So if I lean a certain way, the mouth may twitch a little bit. Yeah, everyone's like, hashtag free the Gator. And I'm like, no, he's free. He's free. See, if I smile just a little bit too, like this. It like cracks the mouth just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'll rewind like a couple seconds because I know this is the best part, guys. I know you're saying this. with any color. This caused me so much anger on her behalf that I had considered graduating with her in solidarity. Seriously. And I now know. I mean, that's, that's enough. I mean, oh, I consider graduating with her. 
you know, what yes, is that? The, mean? Uh, you, you the top, it, the know? top male it's, Ian Liver and Ichi Sanji. Yeah, again, it's a, uh, it's an appeal to emotions. Yeah, he's gonna graduate. Nothing else. See, and this is why it becomes difficult to really trust anything that he says because, why? Like, what? What is his cause for wanting to graduate? So, right. right? Like, like right. think about it from a logical standpoint. You know, what, he got does, mad. what does he have? Did you listen? When he's he got mad of... in solidarity. Exactly. Like you're, you're, <laughs> you're making bank, right? This is not the time when you graduate, right? You keep going, you keep rolling. Let's continue. Oh, the, my intense feelings at the time came from omitted context and falsehoods. And that, once again, is heartbreaking. I'm incredibly happy with my job. And even in the face of times as hard as these, I really wouldn't want it any other way. So regardless of how I now feel about Selene having been my friend and having hurt me and my fellow livers in this way, her attempt on her life will never ever be something to be taken lightly. I recall the moment when I and the and, uh, other livers found out about what had happened and we prayed for her safety then, and we still do. Regardless mm. of the outcome of the situation, I genuinely want nothing more than for Selene to grow and to be in a safe place where she can look after her health insofar as me and the, and the rest of Ian can heal in our own way too. Yeah, I think this is the end of the thing because Ike didn't really say anything too important in his, in his segment, but uh, yeah. Nope. Yeah. That's an interesting. So the whole spin about her about about Salen, I mean, like the document being actually resummarized by another lawyer and then passed around to the livers, that might be an interesting that's actually an interesting take. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Ike's part was so is so forgettable. I mean that's why like um that's why Ike is still like Ike didn't really suffer that much backlash because he didn't really say anything that was... Oh shit, he's live right now. Yeah, he uh, he didn't really say anything too important. Vox Akuma though, I don't think he was ever live until... Yeah, he was never live until that point. Yeah. Um, Elira has been radio silent ever since. Vox did appear in like uh, Kyo's graduation stream though, but Elera did not, which is interesting to me. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's interesting to me. Yeah.